What's going on guys? It's Accessor Team Nocturnal and today I'm going to show you how to uh, and get ADB and fast boot working for Windows 8.1, 32-bit or 64-bit um, how to flash a custom firmware or a stock firmware to your HTC One how to upgrade and downgrade this firmware okay okay so first thing we want to do here is go to this page here I'll have a link in the description below and you want to download the drivers that are right here in this link. You click on that, it's going to take you to dev host or Android file host, depending on what day you click on this link, because I do update the uh, the host regularly. Um, you want to click download, and you want to save it to your desktop, which I already did. Do not click on anything from this website besides that download link, okay? After that, you have saved to your desktop. Go ahead and extract this. I use 7-zip. Um, you can use WinZip, WinRAR, the factory Windows program, whatever you want to use. Uh, go ahead and extract this to the desktop. Inside this folder, you have a Nocturnal ADB 64-bit folder. Inside here, you're going to have some ADB drivers. These are regular drivers for the uh, for HTC. They may or may not work. In order to get these to work, you have to go through a little process where you disable signature verification and all that stuff. We're not going to do that today. I have an easier solution for you. What you're going to do is click on this one here that says a, uh, USB drivers. These are Samsung drivers, but they work on Nexus devices and HTC devices. All right, so I already had this installed, and as you can see here, I've had it installed since uh, since November. Um, I'm a little late making this video. Apologize for that, but better late than never, right? All right, so we have the Samsung drivers installed. Next step is uh, this. You want to bring up the device manager. The quickest way to do this is go to the start menu, type in device, and see. Hit enter, and then you're going to have right here device manager. Bring that up, and as you can see right here, we have the, uh, the Android phone. Now, right now, on my phone, I do have the developer mode enabled, and I do have the ADB, uh, I'm sorry, USB debugging turned on. Uh, in order to have, this, to have this turned on, you gotta go, well, you have to go to the about phone and hit uh, build number and all this stuff a couple times and you get developer options open. Uh, but once you have developer deb uh, USB debugging enabled, you will see this pop up over here. So with that open, I'm gonna hit update driver software. We're gonna hit browse my computer and you're gonna click on let me pick from uh, from dri uh, drivers and you're going to type in S for Samsung and you can see Samsung Android phone pop up. Go ahead and hit next on that. You can select either or, they're both the same. Hit yes and that's it. Alright so there's uh, there's that part enabled. Now if you want to check this out make sure it works. If you already have 64-bit windows all you got to do is click on the cmd.exe file and type in ADB devices. Let that start up, and there's your device right there. You can see the first number right there. Okay, now let's install the fast boot drivers. Close this back out. Go ahead, and there's two ways of doing this. If um, if your phone has a custom reboot menu or it's already rooted, um, you can install a custom reboot menu, and you can reboot right to the bootloader. If you do not have a custom reboot menu, and you have the stock phone. Um, if you do have uh, the develop mode enabled and you have ADB working, such as here, you can type this ADB reboot bootloader. Like that. Now, when you do that, it's going to boot your phone to bootloader. And then you can do the fast boot from there. Um, if, you, if, you doesn't, if you can't get this to work, don't worry, there's no way to do it. What you're going to do is on your phone, Make sure it's unplugged. On your phone, you're going to unlock it, hold the power button, hit power off, and once the phone's completely powered down, you're going to hold the power button and the volume down at the same time. Now, <clears throat> if 
if you have fast uh, fast boot enable uh, or fast reboot or quick reboot, I forgot what it's called, but it's in the, it's in the, um, the options. If you have that enabled, what's going to happen is you're going to hit this power button and the phone's going to turn on instantly. If that happens, no big deal. Just hold that power button until these lights flicker for five seconds. The phone's going to continue to re uh, shut off again. When that happens, let go your power button, hold it again, and hold volume down and power, like so. And now you're in the uh, bootloader, and you're actually in fast boot already. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, you're not in fact, you're in bootloader. You're in the regular bootloader. So hit, um, you can use your volume up and volume down and select the uh, options. Hit power once, and now you're in fast boot mode. Now, what this is, you're going to plug this in like that. And on the computer, you get Android 1.0. What you're going to do is the same process again. Update driver, browse, let me pick. You're going to type in S for Samsung. Hit next. And you hit next again. Hit yes. And that's it. Now, as you can see on the phone, it says fast put USB. It didn't say that before we had the driver installed. So if that is installed, now we can do firmwares, we can do uh, recoveries, uh, uh, boot images, radios, you name it. Um, in order to install a custom firmware or an, or a uh, updated firmware, you have to be S off. If you're not S off, you can't do this. You're gonna have to use a RUU, um, which is provided by HTC. But say let's say they don't have an RUU for your phone yet, uh, for the software you want to run. Say you have Jelly Bean, you want to run KitKat firmware. Well, in that case, you need S off, and you can flash the firmware package. Um, big warning though. Only download and run firmware that's for your phone. If you have Sprint, use Sprint. If you have Verizon, use Verizon. If you have the GSM model, such as AT&T, T-Mobile, Rogers, Bell, or any of the UK models, that's an M7UL, then you're fine. You can you can run the firmware. Just make sure um, where you get it from. It's you know it's been tested. People have commented saying it's okay to use. Um, the telecom phone you have, if you look in here under the unlocked uh, thing or locked, wherever, have you, wherever your status may be, it says M7 underscore UL. If you have Sprint, it'll say M7 underscore WLS. Uh, if you have Verizon, I'm not sure what it says, but it'll be something completely different also. So make sure you get the firmware that's for this model. Don't go by, oh, I have AT&T, it's you know, for AT&T only. No. Go by M7 UL or M7 WS. Go by that, by, by that model number, okay? Um, also, like I said, S off. Now, with this done, all you have to do is find the firmware you downloaded. Okay. So what I have, I have the firmware here on my desktop. What I'm going to do is close this out. I'm going to put the firmware in my ADB folder right there, just like that. Okay. Now, open up the cmd.exe. Now, if you don't have, if you have a 32-bit version of Windows and you get the 64-bit version of Nocturnal Tools, don't worry, that's fine. All you have to do is go to the start menu, type CMD, and you're going to right click it, open file location, and well, it's going to pop up there. One second, let me try it again. CMD, okay, here we go. And you're going to do open file location, and you're going to get to the shortcut menu, it says Windows System. Right click that, hit um, open file location one more time. And it's going to bring up the exe file that's in your system32 folder. Or you can go to C, Windows, system32, type cmd.exe, it'll pop it up. Copy it, don't cut it, just copy that out of there. Pop it into the nocturnal ADB. And you hit replace. Now I'm using mine so I can't replace it, but that's what you would do. Um, let me go ahead and close this out. Alright, so. Now I have the command prop open right here. So, what we are going to do, I have a notepad open here. I'll have these instructions on the thread, so you can just copy and paste these commands. What we can do is copy the first one. It says fastboot, I'm sorry, fastboot OEM reboot RUU. Okay? Right click inside here and hit paste. Ah, didn't copy the whole thing. Let me try this again. Okay. Now, let's need backspace and. Hit paste now. Okay, so there you go. The phone is rebooted. Now it's going to go to a HTC, a silver HTC, HTC uh, logo is going to pop up. This is the RUU mode. Now, 
be very careful before you do anything past this step. Make sure your USB cable is new or it's factory. It's in good condition. It's clean. It's not loose. It's plugged into a good USB port. I use USB 3.0 um, just because it gives better performance than 2.0 or 1.0 does. 3.0 works really well in this. On Windows 8.1, okay? So you're in RU mode. You're going to copy the next command. And then you can go inside of here and hit paste. Okay. And when you do this, it's going to say send the zip. And then you have to do this twice, okay? Because it goes real quick the first time. So your phone's going to reboot again into RU mode. So give it a second. It pops back up. You can hear your phone on the computer loading. When it does that, you can hit uh, arrow key up in your command prompt and it brings the command back again. Because you're going to do the same command twice. Hit it for a second time. And it's going to send all the files, and then you're going to see a different kind of uh, different kind of commands pop up. Watch your screen and watch your phone. This may take a few seconds. Okay, and we're done. Now, on the command prompt, you're going to type in fastboot, reboot, hyphen bootloader. Now when you do this, you're going to look at your bootloader and see what version you have in here now. If you updated your firmware and it had a new H boot or a new radio, it will show up right here. H boot 156 is my new one, and this is the new radio. I already had this installed, but it works. Now if you want to downgrade this firmware, you can do the same thing. The same exact process, you would download the, uh, the firmware you want and flash the same exact way and you could downgrade this. I don't recommend downgrading, it's dangerous doing your message firmware, but uh, this is the way to do it. Um, just be very careful when you do it, read all the instructions, ask a lot of questions, and be 100% sure it's for your phone. If you flash the wrong firmware on your phone, you will brick this. And this is a very expensive paperweight. Uh, this applies to any HTC phone. This could be the Evo 4G, the LTE, the One X, the One X Plus, anything. It's all the same process. If you have S off, it's the same exact process. It does not apply to this particular model for any model. Just make sure you get the right firmware for your phone. You do this, you'd be in good hands. So this is how you uh, upgrade and downgrade your firmware with Fastboot and how to enable Fastboot enable Windows 8.1. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to hit us up on the forums. We're always available to help. Um, so give us a subscription, like the video, share it, any of that good stuff. Thank you for watching.